your Google business profile and your Google business profile posts. What exactly should you be writing about? How often should you be writing? And why is it so important to your Google listing? I'm going to show you exactly what I do for the people I help out and my theory behind it all. What's up there, guys? This is here once again with Do It Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help junk removal business owners, dumps and rental companies, small businesses understand search engine optimization, getting their business found online. And today, what I want to talk about is Google Business Profile, the posts, the posts that you write into your Google Business Profile, and my theory behind it all. So when it comes to the Google Business Profile, this is one of the most important things you need to factor in when you're marketing your junk removal services, dumps, riddle, whatever service that you're providing in your area. Because what I have found is that most of the traffic, most of the traffic that's going online into these home services businesses like junk removal, most of that traffic is going and gravitating towards that Google business profile. And Google understands and they I get the sense of, and a feeling that they really want you to really utilize their own properties like YouTube, the Google business profile, the Gmail, all their properties. They want the more people are using their products, the better their brand, the better their stock price, the better the company grows. So it's very, very important that you use their products and use it correctly. Their, their uh, systems like the Google business profile. So when using this profile, what I see a lot of business owners do, I see a lot of spam on there. I see a lot of people posting every damn day. They're trying to keyword stuff it for the services that they provide, that sort of thing. And in my opinion, I don't think any of that stuff really works. Again, when I'm talking about all this stuff, it's something that I, these are things that I theorize will work for uh, SEO, search engine, and getting these businesses and their listings ranked. So what I like to utilize is quality over quantity less but better because i theorize just like a website just like anything what i theorize is so when a customer comes in and they're looking for junk removal in their town so what i theorize is that when people look for a local service for like junk removal let's say i type in junk removal past robles right here where i live i type that in as a customer I, like i said again i always try to picture myself as the customer I'm going to go through here and start looking at all these listings. I'm going to look at the reviews. I'm going to look at their pictures. I'm going to look at all of their stuff. Then I'm going to start to look and see that they have updates, right? So these updates, what I try to do is I try to make them useful. I try to make them entertaining. I try to make them something where a customer is going to linger on a little bit longer than, than normal, because I really believe that Google measures the activity on this Google listing, just like they measure the activity of all of everything else that they have out there online. So I feel like Google understands when somebody is lingering around, staying a little longer on this listing here. So therefore it's gonna have a, a good effect on it, and help it rank towards the top of the search results here in that map pack. So what I like to do is stuff like this. So I'll show you some examples like this one here, right? Top 10 things that we take here as a junk removal company. So you'll see it's very well written. It's kind of interesting. I like to use emojis too, just to make it interesting, just so people will linger around and kind of take a look at what they got going on here. Here's another one. Why people keep stuff in general, you know? So I do a little research, find out why people, why we as customers or as human beings like to clutter our, our surroundings, the things that we, we, we kind of have a little bit of hoarding in all of us. So I find a little article, right? Just 1500 word character on about unveiling the mystery of hoarding, right? Little, like a mini blog post, right? Here's another one. If you're looking for a junk removal company and I try to find ways to make interesting pictures like this. And in each side, one of these, they always give you an option to link out. So sometimes I'll say call now. Other times I'll sell a link to a specific page on their site, like this one here. Are you throwing these items away? right? Items that people may not know are recyclable. So I wrote a little article about that, right? And there's a call now. Here's another one here. The right way to dispose of a refrigerator, especially in your town. It could be different for other uh, other cities, right? So just like this, and then there's a learn more and it goes straight to their appliance removal service in that town. So this is what I like to do with these Google business profile posts. I like to post one 
good solid post every single week along with everything else that I do, do the SEO, writing articles, reading backlinks, all that sort of thing to build that credibility for that business. So I come up with a bunch of different ones depending on the industry. Here's like a tree service one, right? Nine easy steps for proper planting of a tree, a little article like that. For the paving companies, I do the exact same thing. For it doesn't matter the business. What's the process is gonna happen when somebody calls this asphalt paving company in this location? What's going to happen when they call? Right here is safeguard your asphalt, prevent damage, right? Little article about that. I like to make little cool pictures. Another picture of their website on a computer screen. Time to upgrade your driveway in San Jose, California, right? Their service area. So I point out to all the service areas that they basically do service in. And again, when I write these, right, I put in all these city names. Uh, make it interesting and then click here it goes right to their service area page right so that's what i like to do with the google business profile post i don't like to spam it i like to write interesting articles i like to keep them interesting because i theorize that people will linger on that listing and, and give it more priority and get that listing to rank on google so that's all i wanted to share with you guys today what my theory is behind google business profile posts if you want to know a little bit more about what i do some of the service i provide my SEO course down here in the description below. And that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.